Hey everyone, Dubly here, back for part 20 of our Final Fantasy VII Rebirth playthrough. In the last part, we took control of Tifa and Aerith, and similar to how Cloud was running around Costa del Sol to grab some vouchers to get some suits, uh, we did the same with uh, the girls. I uh, played a couple of mini games with them, one of them involving Red 13. It's kind of like Rocket League. Uh, and then we had to do like a Cactor hunt. And then there was a piano recital as well that I didn't do as well as I wanted to because it was Tifa's theme and I really like Tifa's theme. Um, but what can you do? And what was the last one? Oh yeah, we had to turn the scooters, or well, wheelies, segways, uh, back to their parking spots, I guess. Um, and that involved meeting some girl who's like madly in love with Johnny for some reason. <laughs> uh, but anyway, after we did all that, the girls got ready for the beach and everyone was going to have a fun time until Hojo showed up, of course. And the mad scientist had to bring the experiments along for the ride, so we had to take care of those guys. Um, and the party almost got captured until Yuffie came along and got us out of there. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that happened. Uh, now we're just chilling in the aftermath of everything. What, do we just talk to our party members? I'm pretty sure that's all we have to do, right? Yeah. Tifa's right here. Very convenient. <laughs> Couldn't find the bartender, so I, uh, helped myself. Costa del Sol. Used to make him back at the bar. And here I am, drinking one in its namesake. Feels like it's been ages since I mixed a drink. Since Seventh Heaven. Lots happened since then. Yeah. Lots happened since then. A lot. Good and bad. Ever wish you could just... snap your fingers and forget the worst stuff? It's a part of who we are. Whether we like it or not. Yeah. The deepest wounds never really heal. Hey, I can make one for you too, if you want. Nah, I'm good. Next time I ask for a cocktail, it'll be at the new Seventh Heaven. <laughs> at least, that's what I promised Barrett. And when exactly did you promise him that? Sometime. All right, Mr. Secretive. You do you. Oh. <gasps> yes. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Hope I can come back here someday. Stare at the ocean. Listen to the waves. Hope I can come back here someday. Stare at the ocean. Listen to the waves. You know, maybe you guys will. Can we swim now? <laughs> Or are we still restricted? Dang. I thought that might, there would be like fun like swimming minigames involved in Costa del Sol. It's a bit unfortunate. God, I keep on thinking this guy's Johnny. Red's over there. I saw Aerith. Who else is on the beach? Ah, of course, Mr. Middle Manager. Late to the party once again. Why do I even bother? I'm finished. No, the company can't fire me if, if I fire myself first. You hear that? I quit! Hey, Rufus, take your Mako and shove it up your ass! Whoa, <laughs> okay. 
Shinra. Screw you. This is not the development I expected. Oh, this was a private beach. It's kind of funny. Uh, so in the OG, like those girls were all fawning over Hojo without, uh, you know, any rhyme or reason. So people always thought, oh man, he's got hidden. Like, hate to say it, but Riz, <laughs> you know, he's got the sauce. But this time it's because the mayor was trying to uh, butter him up, right? <laughs> anyway. We've come so far, but it still feels like Midgar's right behind us. We were his prisoners, me and my mom, Ifalna. He kidnapped us because she was a Cetra. A specimen for his experiments. And after what he did to her... After all the pain and the horror he put us through... I hate him. Sometimes, I imagine the things I'd do to him if I got the chance. I start thinking things so dark and ugly that it scares me. Then don't think. <laughs> Everybody's got someone they hate. Everybody's got someone they hate. It's normal. Is it? It doesn't feel normal. What I'm trying to say is, worry about the future when it comes. You'll know what to do. And whatever you decide, I'm with you. I appreciate it. That was awfully sweet of Cloud. No need to worry about the future till it comes. Not until the moment arrives. And when what it is does, she talking about? I'll be counting on you. Good. What is she talking about? Not you. That was to her. My future self. Can't say when you'll meet, but trust me. You'll love her. Just you wait. Okay, that... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your future self, huh, Aerith? Alright. Alright. I don't think she was being figurative about that guy. <laughs> Ain't no way she was being figurative about that. It's because of Hojo this place is in ruins. No, I can't blame him for our actions. I know I should strive to maintain my composure around him, but... We had no choice. We had no choice. Things would have turned out worse if we hadn't stepped in. True. Not comforting, but true. Oh. You should go check on the others. Maybe that wasn't the right choice for Red. I actually don't know if I made the right choice for anybody. It's moments like these we have to hold on to. It's moments like these we have to hold on to. Hate to say it, but that girl really came through for us back there. Unlike me, I couldn't do a damn thing for those poor bastards. Yes, you tried. That's all you can do. And all that matters if you ask me. <laughs> you? Trying to tear me up? Now I've seen everything. <laughs> Hope I get to bring Marlene here someday. I knew she'd love it. I think Marlene would have a blast in Costa del Sol. I think I might have gotten the answers wrong for Barrett and Red. Dang. 
Oh well. Nothing else. Hope I can come back here someday. Stare at the ocean. Listen to the waves. All right. Hey, you ready to leave? I mean, I don't see Yuffie anywhere. Fair enough. Gotta make the most of these moments. Right? Yeah, she's not here. We can't sit down with anybody. Well, not with a stool on the beach like that. <laughs> Let's hey, go. You ready to leave? Let's head back to good old Johnny's Seaside Hotel, or whatever it's called. Man, it is so pretty. Well, guess this ends our fun in the sun. Yeah, no fun ain't the word I'd use. So, back to the hotel? Johnny's famous sea smell in. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> Beach episode's over, guys. Zach got to have one. And now we get to have one. What's up, guys? Damn, you got beat up, bro. Are you alright? <laughs> Never felt better. You're the man of the hour. I don't know. You see, a few kind girls who saw what happened on the beach gave me the lowdown. On the hotel and Mayor Capono. Ugh, I'm a moron. How could I be so blind? You borrowed a lot of money from him, right? Will you be able to pay it back? So, the girls told Capono, keep leeching off our hero and we'll smear your name so bad Shinra will kick you to the curb. And the crazy thing is, it worked. He caved. I am foot loose and dead free, baby. What? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Johnny, the local hero. Proprietor of the Seaside Inn, soon to be Seven Star Resort Hotel. Now that would be something. You know you gotta get one star before you can get the other six, right? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, but I got plans. Ow, 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 ow. Well, good for you. Yeah, man. Good for you. Uh, you okay there? Great. Now watch him fall up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I also just remembered the name of the freaking... I don't know if they're tanukis or if they're raccoons in Animal Crossing, but it's the Nooks. Tom Nook. You know what? From that name, they are tanukis, aren't they? Anyway, this whole situation with Johnny reminds Thanks me of those guys. Nah, I should be the one thanking you. Anyway, what's next for you guys? You gotta follow some ropes. Oh, those dudes shuffled off toward Mount Corel this morning. Tried to get the injured ones to stay till they were healthy, but... Corel, huh? Corel it is. Be safe, you guys. Wouldn't want anything to happen to my inaugural guests. Bon voyage. Bon voyage. As the phoenix rises from the ashes, so too shall my hotel rise from obscurity. But yeah, if you ever need to take a load off, just use whatever rooms are open. Always happy to help my one true bro. <laughs> oh God. As the phoenix rises from the ashes, so All right, too guys, shall let's my get out of here. Rise from obscurity. Uh, hello. Oh right. Aren't you all forgetting about? This again?
Oh my gosh. <laughs> cool. <laughs> hey, well, hold it, you stupid face. Where do you think you're going? I challenge you to a duel. If I win, you get the honor of serving yours truly. However, if you manage to somehow twist your way to victory, this amazing ninja will agree to join you. <laughs> what do you say? Bring it. have to fight that is unless you really want to oh abort abort tactical retreat <sighs> the hell is her deal oh hey where do you think you're going <laughs> you ran away from us Absolutely 100% certain you don't want me around to save your butts. All right, you can come. You can come with. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Well, seeing as you're so desperate, I guess I'll oblige you. Welcome to the team, Yuffie. <laughs> You try anything funny, anything. I'll shove you in the sister ray, point it at Wu Tai, and blast you back home. Yeesh. But I hear ya. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. Girl, you can't you even see that. <laughs> where my name is a Yuffie Kisaragi. Kiss her ass out of here, more like. Ha 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 Got him. Okay, split, slip into your beachwear at a changing booth and enjoy a stroll around town in some appropriately summer, a, summery attire. Note that you will automatically change back to your default outfit upon leaving the area around Costa del Sol. Uh, the Shinra 8 will ferry you between Costa del Sol and under Junon whenever you wish. Speak to the crew member at either port to fast travel between the two locations. Johnny also provides a fast travel service in Costa del Sol. Speak with him or his assistant to have them escort you around town. Oh, you know, I just realized he might have been talking about Jenny. Also, Yuffie's in the party now. Y'all know what that means. What she come with? Steel, of course. Oh, she comes with HP up. That's interesting. Enervation. Huh. She comes with her own assess materia. Weird. It's like they want her to be... Um, it's like they want her to be your other party leader. Almost. Like, why else would she come with her own assess materia? You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see here. Fire damage up, lightning damage up, brave thief, and max HP plus 200. Applies a bravery, bravery status after successfully stealing. Oh, that's an interesting... Weapon skill. Very interesting. I say as I just immediately go for HP up. <laughs> um, why does Tifa have Choco Mog equipped? Why does Barrett have Leviathan equipped? Why do they have these? <laughs> this is very confusing. Interesting enough, Ram is the only one that's like mixed attack. Do we have any better bracelets for her or like armor for her? 
Oh, it seems like this is like the best we've got. Okay. As for accessories. I guess she can get the whistle and scarf. I feel like she's going to build up her gauge pretty fast, though. Oh, interesting. She comes with this. Hmm. Can use while airborne. Launch an attack even while immobilized or reeling from damage. That's pretty cool, actually. Huh. Um, ice and wind damage up. Precision defense ATB. Fills the ATB gauge after blocking with perfect timing. Applies regen after blocking with perfect timing. Whoa. Oh, wow. These are really cool. Let's go with that one for now. And then what did she have equipped? She had like enervation. Yeah, that's right. Um, I feel like poison would be better on her almost. Then for red, we can do... Kind of want to give red like... One of these other like... Dual magic materials, but... I don't know, I guess we can just throw lightning on him for now. It's so weird that she comes with the steel materia, but we've... <laughs> and the assess materia. That is so weird. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, let's just throw lightning on red. Why not? I don't know, actually. Maybe provoke, actually. Especially if I'm not going to be using him taking control of him rather uh, and then you can actually get the maxed out steel materia why not instead of this we should probably be nice if I had another lock up materia that would be actually super useful but um, because she's got like a precision defense thing going on here let's do that And we don't have any other, like, debuffing thing, do we? I'm, like, trying to give her, you know, vaguely ninja-themed stuff. I say vaguely. <laughs> uh, and then... With Aerith. Can we... let's see. Then we want this party. Let's get red out of here for Yuffie. And then we'll change this... Um, I think because like the party that I want to run with is Red Yuf or not Red but Cloud Yuffie and Tifa. I feel like it's gonna be pretty strong, just from like what I know from playing with Yuffie in Intermission. Hey, how about an orb or two? My goodness. <laughs> uh oh, trouble in paradise. Oh. I thought we might have more beach wear to buy, but I guess not. That's kind of a shame, actually. Not that the stuff that we have isn't good enough, I just thought there might be more. You 
though we never went in here, did we? Hang loose. Looking to fiddle with some folios? Actually, yes. <laughs> Oh, interesting. She comes uh, pre-equipped, pre-leveled. Okay. Weird that they went for these when she has her, uh, she has her, I forgot what to call it. She has her ranged magic attacks. So it's really interesting that they went with this. Insufficient weapon level. Hmm. gonna go with luck by 50. That's a uh, that's a lot of luck man. <laughs> I don't know about the rest of you guys but oh my god all right where is the notice board? Out of the way, chairs and tables. The Saga of the Seaside Inn, Wavering Hero. Johnny's Seaside Inn is currently undergoing a complete renovation to better cater to you, our beloved customers, and we could also use a little help. Help that isn't me. And by me, and by me, I mean we. And by we, I mean it'll be easier to explain when you meet the gang. And by you, I mean, my one true bro, Cloud. Don't leave me hanging. All right, Johnny. Rendezvous in Costa del Sol. The three fashionistas are the clients. Hey, lovebirds. We need your help in creating our next line of classic swimwear. All you have to do is go on a very special date we've planned that's sure to bring you and your partner closer than together than ever. So come and see us on the beach if you're in the mood for romance. All right. Whatever you say, man. Or man. Or woman. Who knows? Oh, it's these three. Ugh. Shinra scientist. Oh wow, it is you. I'm Fran. And I'm Naomi. Name's Yorda. And we would like to hire you for a job. Interested? That depends. It's simple. Girl and boy go on a date. Easy peasy, right? A date? The three of us are designers for Costa del Sol's premier fashion boutique. For our next line. We're thinking something sexy, perfect for the beach, the bar, or in the boudoir. But creatively speaking, it's been a struggle. We've been racking our brains forever. And the showcase is basically now. It's do or die, and we don't want to kill our careers. So, that's where you come in. We want to see a real couple on a date, for inspiration. Well, sound like a good gig? Why is Aerith here? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ask about Hojo. Hojo, as in that Shinra guy? We were just doing the mayor a favor. That's all. And if we're being honest, we figured it couldn't hurt to butter up a company bigwig. We got a business to run. I mean, gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Also, I wonder if they're like named after other Final Fantasy characters because Fran obviously is from 12, but I'm trying to think of where the other two are from. Anyway. 
because we can tell you like your women assertive. And since we're all about strong, confident ladies, we thought, ka-ching! One look at you and we knew that woman's not afraid to take what she wants. Maybe? I mean, uh, I'd like to think so. <laughs> She's not gonna take us away from Tifa. That's for sure. What? 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 <laughs> uh, huh? Anyway, let's take the job. We knew you would. And so, we've already planned the perfect date for lovebirds like you. Get rowdy and run wild. Be ready to swashbuckle at Pirate's Rampage. This is going to be your best date yet. We'll make sure of it. Oh god, Pirate's Rampage again? Bro. You're going to absolutely love what we've cooked up for you. First, find Naomi and Fran. They'll kickstart your date. They'll be waiting for you at Run Wild and Pirate's Rampage. Have fun! Everyone else is like, do we, do we have to tag along for the ride? <laughs> Stranger jobs you've accepted. Still a job. I'll take the lead. Hey, I can help. I'll make this date our best yet. We could just keep it simple. And what's a simple date in your world? Like a walk? Across rooftops, perhaps? Sure. Ah, memories. Seems like forever ago. Actually, it was. Probably like 40, 40, 40, maybe 50 hours ago. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Look who it is. So, are you ready to aim and fire? Do well, and you might just land a bullseye on her heart. All right. Here we go again. Eighteen thousand? Holy... You got this. I don't know, man. Nice one. Oh, they turn around. Score my accuracy too? Oh no, this is gonna be. Wow. This is awful. God. Oh, Cactor. Notice it too late. Oh gosh. Mother. You got this. You did it. a decent score? What am I supposed to get?
Ah, uh, whatever. Nice one. You did it. Target score of thirty three fifty. What does that even mean? Sweet. Where's the tack door? Well, <laughs> right, 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 right. Where is it? Coming up over here, isn't it? At the end. Oh. Oh. Shoot. Go, go. Great job. Oh wow, okay, so 1800 wasn't impossible this time. The survival of the fastest in this new twist on Run Wild. Shoot the numbered balls into their corresponding goals in the shortest amount of time to win. Oh, this is different. Okay. Controls are the same, though. Uh, yeah. Why not? All right. Wish me luck, okay? You do know this is for animals, right? Not people. Oh, she's an animal, all right. Technically animals, too. What? Right? <laughs> Wrong! Not cool. What? I really can't compete? No, but your pet can. But though I take umbrage with that nomenclature, I'm happy to offer my assistance. Red's got this. <sighs> well, I guess we'll just have to be the cheer squad. <laughs> Give me an R! <laughs> Give me an E! Give me a D! I love Red, man. He's such a good sport. B. 
bit confused as to what we're supposed to be doing. Oh, how did that go there? Where the heck's the four? Oh. Oh, come on. in that's the wrong goal <laughs> Come on. There you go. In you go. Where's the last one? Saw here somewhere. Oh gosh. I'm just big blind. Oh boy. It's behind me. There it is. There we go. Second place. We can do better than second place. You're like a red bolt shooting across that field. I am quick on my feet. The three of us should go around sometime. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> if you enjoy losing. Damn. Their dog is the glue that binds their relationship. And watching their little guy give it his all out there only served to strengthen their bond. That's it! I'm such a genius! I've got to get this idea down on paper! I need to get back to the shop, like, yesterday! The order's at the stables for the final part of your date. So what are you waiting for? Get those tushies on a chocobo. Okay. Kind of mimicked her movement there. I know you guys can't see, but... <laughs> Time to your oh, okay. I thought the other version of this would be available for us to play. So Guess not. Oh, man. Well, I prefer function over form. So durable. Maybe made with non-absorbent materials that allow for full range of motion. In case you need to fight underwater. <laughs> Okie dokie then. Cloud, what the heck? <laughs> also, I had to sneeze there. Whenever. 
Oh, thanks. Take good care of her. So the idea is to write Kaima here and enjoy a romantic stroll along the beach. Oh. But that on its own sounds like a huge yawn fest. So try hunting for shells while you're at it. How about you bring me the largest one you can find? Sound good? I'll be chilling back here. So you two run along and have yourselves one shell of a time. <laughs> Oh. I like how she sits like that on the chocobo. I didn't even notice. Where are we headed? Oh wow, we are... We are headed far. Okay. In that case... We may as well hit that tower. Shells, right? Right. Uh, Wait a second. Are you nervous? About what? Easiest job I've ever had. The Merc's nervous. <laughs> Where's the chests? This is a cache, so there must be chests somewhere, right? It says we've got three to find. Hmm. This is the theme you hear in the um, on the tracks, right? When you enter the Mount Corel uh, area, the the screen, the zone—I don't know what to call it. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely the theme for that, if I, if I remember right. Where in the world is the last chest? Holy cow. I am once again being big blind. Doo -doo -doo. on one of these shipping containers? I don't see it on those. That was just impossible for our chocobo to get up to. I already forgot this chocobo's name, which is a bit unfortunate. I'm sure it was something cute. What do we got? Let's do this. Uh, Spearhawk. 
Weak to fire and wind? I think these guys are the one who like hit you with electricity in the OG. And then C, Terpsicolts. Weak to fire and ice. Exploiting their uh, elemental weakness or evading leech will pressure them. While whirling, they shrug off damage, but hitting them with powerful offensive abilities will interrupt and pressure them. Gotcha. Yeah. Helicopter activity out here. Alright, now that we have Red done with his weapon ability, let's change the party around. You know what? Let's keep this the boys' team. <laughs> yeah. Huzzah. Where is Chadley, actually? I didn't see him in Costa del Sol, but maybe I just missed him. Whoa, Birdie, why did you disappear for a second there? What is this? Fighting as Yuffie, she specializes in both close and ranged combat. Uh, press square to strike her foes with her throwing star. Hold it down to continue attacking while putting distance between her and the enemy. Use triangle to launch her throwing star at an enemy. When it's launched, press square to activate Yuffie's ninjutsu. Change the elemental affinity of this ranged attack with her elemental ninjutsu ability. Throwing star will re return automatically after a certain amount of time, but can be retrieved earlier by pressing triangle again or holding square. Uh, these guys are weak to... what the heck is that? Ice and some sort of... debuff. Morphable items. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Let's go with Wind Ninjutsu. Where's our chocobo? What are these weirdos? Take 
weak to fire and lightning. While hiding in their shells, they're impervious to basic attacks, but healing them with powerful offensive abilities will force them to come out. She gets Rubble Form automatically? That's pretty good, actually. Holy cow. Didn't realize. form on square where is it there it is and then let's see what do I want do I want blindside here no, let's put blindside there and then steel can be There, okay. Guess we can put Art of War here. Works for me. This is the birdie. There's our birdie. Guess we're doing this. <laughs> It's on the way. Is that everything to collect? Seems like it. Oh. Oh. It's been a while since I did these. Holy cow. from Chadley. Huh. Alright, well, though Costa del Sol is now a renowned beach resort, it was once home to a string of humble fishing villages. However, when relations between Shinra and the Republic of Judon began to deteriorate, Shinra annexed this portion of the coast. After the war, the company designated the area for redevelopment, transforming it into the must-visit location for avid sunseekers that it is today. Costa del Sol offers vacation packages to suit any budget, allowing travelers from every corner of the globe to savor this idyllic beach. The idyllic beaches. Plans that include a trip to the Gold Saucer have proven particularly popular. Just realized I read that in my kind of reading voice. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like everybody has like that voice, you know? that they, they affect when they read something out loud. I'm trying to sound like a professional or something. <laughs> For funsies or, or like, you, you know what I mean? <laughs> Is there another one nearby? So close. Ah. Uh. 
up here. Gotcha. Sorry, Birdie. We're actually out for something else. May as well take care of this. Oh, monsters! Come out, come out, wherever you are. See, pressure an enemy, stagger an enemy, defeat Where's all enemies. Within the time limit. Ow. Okay, they're all weak to fire. Gotcha. Jeez Louise, oh my gosh. Oh my god. Don't overdo it. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Jeez. What is happening? This is so hard. <laughs> this is actually so much harder than I thought it was going to be. Are you okay? Wow! What a fight! Gotcha. Let's switch it up. I'll take a 
Well, that did nothing. Right. Man, that was hard. Is that just me? Was that hard? Where's our, where's our chocobo friend? There we go. Where's Boko? I haven't seen Boko. Oh my gosh, please. Okay. Cash location here, huh? Huh, seems like we can go in the water. Probably restricted to how far out we can go again though, which is a shame. But that is the only way to get to this beach. Interesting. to find wherever it may be we should be able to find some good shells around here now Oh gosh. No. All right. Are you serious? Take 
Huh. Her ninjutsu goes away. Search for seashells while enjoying a day with Aerith on Chocobac. Press up to have your Chocobo sniff out a potential digging spot, then press down to start digging. Beachcomber beware though, some spots offer treasure, while others lead to trouble. Hey, this is the... The tunnel theme from the original... Or not the original... Remake. This is not the shell you're looking for. Well darn. Where's the chest though? That's what I want to know. There should be another chest here somewhere. Oh well. Oh gosh. Which way? Which way? Where are we going? Over there? Darn. This better not be another fight. Oh god, come on. Come on. You unwieldy creature. Sorry. Oh gosh. Seashell? Nice, a punch. Decent size one too. You know, By the seashore. The ocean if you put the seashell right up against your ear. That's a myth. <laughs> I'll just try it, you spoil sport. I'm good. Come on, Cloud. Where are we supposed to go on the beach? Ah. 
Aha. Oj, vej. How many of these are there? Whoa! I don't think I've ever seen a shell this big before. Hmm. If these things are all this size, I bet the suckers who live in them would make for good eating. Whoa! I wonder how they taste. <laughs> <laughs> we could ask the local, but you don't strike me as the type to care all that much. I don't. Food's food. Uh oh. Don't you know what happens to people who say they don't care what their food tastes like? They spontaneously combust. <gasps> You're screwing with me, right? She's I not. We'll see, won't we? <laughs> She's totally serious, Cloud. Wow, that was <laughs> that was uh, very forward of her. Anyway, well, since we're done fighting the shells, I think we'll call it here for now. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.